What's up guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time to head to the Prism Tower on Let's Play Pokemon Y. Alright guys, welcome back. Last time we made it back to Lumino City, and we finally unlocked the new sec- What the f- Team Flare? This flaming red cat fae is perfect for hot young stars like us. We really bloom when we're having lively debates about how to make a better tomorrow. For ourselves. So bitter, so dark, that's doing it right. Espresso is the oil that keeps our gears running smoothly. Okay. Weirdo. So apparently Team Flare owns a cafe. Good to know, good to know. I see they're very culture oriented, despite being bad guys, but whatever. In any case, now that the northern section of Lumino City is back up again, thanks to us solving the problem at the power plant, it is now time to finally get our Luminos gym badge. So, there you go. About damn time. In any case, have you heard of Team Plasma? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I know of them. Apparently, it was making news a while back in the Unova region. Wow, continuity! Or rather, no. Was it continuity or... Oh god, what's the phrasing for that, viewers? You let me know in the in the comments. The famous Professor Oak's grandson came here for, to the Kalos region to study abroad. He said he got Bonjour down just fine, but he still always said "smell you later" when he left. <laughs> That's blue for you. Wow, so blue and Team Plasma get a reference here. Wow, that's pretty sexy. I love that. It's, yeah, continuity or something rather like that. But yeah, I, I like that. It, it, it's nice. It's nice. It lets you know that the other generations actually existed before this. In any case, there it is. The Luminous Gem. Who the hell are those two? Good timing. They're just about to turn on the lights. During the day. Hey, look, it's Clement. He's Lumino City's gym leader. He's also good at make inventing things, and he makes all kinds of devices. Those two are my friends. Wow, I didn't know that. Good to know. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember them. Clement and Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie is Clement's little sister, by the way. Surprised that Dene isn't with her. Aren't you done yet? Not quite. <laughs> Look at Clement's glasses. Oh my god, he's a... He looks like one of those literal bookworms from the anime with those clear-ass glasses that, that go bright in, in, in the sunlight. Damn. I just have to check the, the lighting circuit here. Oh, Shauna! Are you a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a bit? Come on, Clement. All right, everything's ready. The future is now. Thanks to science! Boom. No, no, <laughs> no. I remember back in the XY anime that every time Clement said that, something would fucking blow up. Ah, oh, just, oh, good memories, good memories. Prism Tower Lighting System, ACTIVATE! Let's check it out. Oh. Cool. The light is on during the day! It's so amazing. Just like fireworks during the day, right, Shauna? <laughs> no. I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? Huh. Now I have another great memory with you, bro. Yeah, during the day. Excellent. My prism tower lighting system worked brilliantly, just like all my inventions. Huh, just like in the anime, he's also a bragger. Yeah, right, whatever. And Bonnie is the realist. There are challengers waiting for you, you know. Prism Tower itself is Lumino City's Pokemon Gen. Huh. Clement's inventions sure are amazing, right? He gave me one that solves puzzles, but it always feels like a shame to use it, so I haven't yet. Why? Okay, good luck at the gym. Uh, thanks, I, I guess. Now that is a nice fucking, um, overshot there. Wait, wait, what? The events are lighting up the world. <laughs> Good. As long as he's not blowing it up. I can barely see anything down here. What's this? Okay, I, I, I think I, I think that's a, a, a digger's bee. The evolved form of Bunnelby. 
I think that might be a Patrat. I'm not sure. Huh. Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Let's head into... The Lumino City Gym. Uh, let's see what puzzles and amazing inventions we'll see in here from Clement. How's it going, dude? What's cooking, good looking? Uh, fine. <laughs> My future champ back for more. The Pokemon Gym here in Lumino City is just full up of electric type trainers. You just feel the buzz, am I right? It's also known as a quiz gym. You're looking a, a bit questionable, friend. You want to know why it's called that? <laughs> You'll find the answers inside. Okay. <laughs> the Shining Prism Tower is like a lighthouse for people's minds. It may look like a waste of energy, but it's important. <laughs> it seems like Clement has to pay a big-ass electric bill here. What the hell? Oh. Wait. Oh, okay, now I get it. The, um, the elevator. Wow, it, it, it's been a while since I got to this point. <laughs> since my playthrough, since my test run, so. What the hell? Ah, you're that trainer from before. Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's little sister. Yeah, sorry, I kind of spoiled it in advance. But then again, I, I guess Shauna's, you know, whatever. Go ahead and step onto this small square a few steps directly ahead of you, would you? You have to answer my questions if you want to get any further ahead. Oh man. <sighs> oh well. Alright. Wait a minute, is this like the Cinnabar gym? Yeah, it is. Let's see. Pikachu? Who's that Pokemon? Talk to talk to the trainer who's in the same number as the right answer. That's so obvious. You chosen Pikachu? Yes, indeed. Let's have a Pokemon battle before we compare answers. All right, I hope I got it right. <laughs> well, yeah, every time you potentially pick the right... Oh, it's a Dene! Every time you potentially get the right answer and stuff like that, you still have to face the trainer. However, viewers, if you happen to pick the wrong answer, you guys would have you guys remember what happened when you picked the wrong answer in Cinnabar Gym, right? Ow! <laughs> 69. <laughs> Sorry, Kai, but uh, I, I had to say the joke. Had to say the joke. Power punch! The hell? Oh right, the Dene's part very tight. I completely forgot. Uh oh! Huh. This Adene is strong. I'll give it that. Flame burst! There you go. <laughs> so long, you little bitch. <laughs> Terry, she level up. Whew. I got it right, didn't I? Yes, I did. If you happen to get it wrong, just like in Cinnabar Gym, you have to fight a trainer. Uh, oh, okay, good, about to say. <laughs> Woo, it's like a quiz show. Pega, Pega. No, no, you're correct. Well, aren't you a clever one? That I am. All right, next puzzle. Quiz time. Fletchling. Who's that Pokemon? Well, it's obvious. We already know who it is. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, still a Pokemon battle though. Mine as well. Luckily, each of these trainers only have one Pokemon each, so I'm not going to edit it out. I mean, they're easy enough, so why not? Why edit it out? Oh shit, I forgot to heal Kai! Uh, yeah, let's switch out. Don't want to risk a Thunderbolt to the face. <laughs> Especially from a Raichu. Ah! Let's go wrong. Ha! Ah, your thunderbolt don't affect me, bitch. Hell no. You know what will affect you, though? Yeah, go ahead, get it in. You're, you're, you're weak as shit. I don't hoot it! Part one. I don't hoot it! Part two. Because it's a two stage ground attack. There you go. <laughs> I like the way Raichu, like, oh! Damn. 
That's when you know you really got your ass kicked when you just literally collapse on your face. Pretty much. GG. Then step onto the elevator. Alright, let's see if I got it right. No, no. Oh, yeah, viewers, I forgot to mention this, but even if you, well, if you pick the wrong door, you'll still have to face the trainer in front of it. And if you get, if, if you happen to have gotten the answer wrong, you have to face another trainer. So, yeah, that's why all these trainers are in here, but you only, you only get to pick on um, fight one if you happen to get it right. Let's see. Oh, this is a tough one. Uh, I think it's Pan Sage. I hope to Arceus I'm right, because Pan Sage and Pan Poor look almost the same in silhouettes. It has to be Pan Sage. But first, a battle. Yeah, as is tradition. Yeah. Ooh, lantern. Reminds me of my lantern from my from my Pokemon Heart Gold LP. Uh, good times, good times. Now, flame burst! Shit, I forgot to heal Kai again. Oh my god. Ah! And that is the result of my stupidity and my le and my super bad memory. My apologies, Kai. <laughs> my B, my B. I'll heal you right after. Yeah, let's get this lantern out the way first. Yeah, as you already know, lantern is water slash electric type, so its only weaknesses is ground and grass. Phew! There you go, bitch. That's what my chars are. Sayonara. Ooh, level up. Nice, nice. Discharge. Uh. Do I want to get rid of Thunder Punch? This charge is a little bit stronger though, and it hits all targets on the battlefield and double battles. <sighs> I can always relearn it from the move deleter. Or, or the move relearner. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Let's get rid of Thunder Punch. For now! Of course, this charge ain't going to be lasting here long, as you'll soon see. I was going to replace Thunder Punch eventually anyway with another specific move. Alright, now. Fucking suspenseful music. WHAT?! DUDE! Are you serious?! Unbelievable! I selected... So it wasn't him. Wow, man. That is such bullshit. Uh, that is BS! That looked exactly like Pansage! Man. Alright, it's obviously Pampor now. Huh. You will take responsibility, won't you? <laughs> huh. I'm kind of shocked that he doesn't have one, but then again, this is an electric gem. Not that it matters to me any. Now! Lame boss! Hmm, you're a tough one, aren't you? Uh, fucking confused, Ray. You know what? Screw this! You know what, now's a perfect opportunity to show off my, my Charizard's Mega Evolution. Alright, Mega Evolution, Flame Burst. Now, Charizard! Kai, Mega Shika! Yeah! Woo! Charizard, wah! Nice. Ooh, that's a bright ass light. Alright, can I get in my attack? No. I guess Mega Evolution doesn't fix that. Oh, well. Ah! Oh, you bitch! Get in there! 
attack. Come on. Wow. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <sighs> Whatever. That's. I kind of like. Of course, well, it was a 50-50 chance of my attack ugh, getting in. So, yeah, but oh well. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, and I still won, so it doesn't matter. You shall be avenged in a future fight, Kai. Trust me on this. Alright, step onto the elevator. Right. Alright. This better be the right one. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. That looked just like Pan Sage. Oh my god. That is bullshit. It looked just like him. Wow. That is, that is some, that is some bullshit right there. Cause it looked just like PN Sage. Anyone would've got that wrong. Right? Huh. Alright, quiz time. Alright, that is obviously Butterfree. Wait, what? Butterfree? Vivian? Motham. Yeah, I, I, I know there's silhouettes. Which one is Vivian? Is it number one? Is it number two? Or number three? I know what it is. It's number two. It has to be number two. If I'm wrong, then you can, you know... You know what? Never mind. I was, I, I, I was, about, to, I was about to say something dirty, but it wouldn't matter here. If I'm right, you get to suck me off. If I'm wrong, then, well... I get to suck you off? I don't know. <laughs> ah! Either or, I mean, my last attempt in that last puzzle epically failed. So, in essence, I owe somebody a, a free suck off. But, I'm gonna win this time. So, ah! how is this thing not down yet? It's a fucking puzzle! Flame burst! It's a damn puzzle! That shit wanna. Little bastard should have went down. God damn. Oh boy. Alright. I got it right. I know I did. Yay! Someone's sucking me off. I mean, woohoo! Nice. Oh boy. That was way too much. <laughs> Surprisingly way too much. Alright, now then. For the Pokemon I'm going to be using here, Clement is going to be using three Pokemon, so I'm only going to be using three. So, as such, my dear viewers, I'm going to be going in this instance here. I'm going to be using Terashi, Arung, and Bilster. All right, there we go. Cause Siege, Kai, and Phantom got their, um, you know, got their time to shine in the last gym battle. So, time for my others to get some screen time. Ah, thank you for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> this is the gym leader of Lumino City, Clement. You better watch out, my brother's strong. As strong as you expect a Lumino City gym leader to be, got it? Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us will be here if it weren't for our Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway, I hope you two have an awesome battle. Huh. Bonnie's stealing the show. She's right about that, at least. <laughs> let's, let's both do our best in battle. Right. It's time to get smart. Yeah! It's just time for a gym battle boss fight! Versus Clement, the leader of the Lumino City Gym. Now, our electric smart boy. 
It's basically, well, his Amoga is like a carbon copy of of um, Elsa's Amoga from Yuna. You remember her Amoga, right? Always constantly switching out. Spoiler alert, his Amoga might have Volt Switch. Might, meaning he it does have Volt Switch. Oh! Ow. <laughs> you got attracted, bitch. Now, Moon and Blaster! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Terry. She learned that attack in that um a level or so back. My be. <laughs> yeah, it's one of it's one of Terry's strongest fairy type moves. So yeah. All right, now then, Magneton. All right, let's switch out. Good job, Terry. Wrong. Let's go. Luckily, this fight with um Clement is not going to be hard at all. And oh yeah, his Amoka did have Volt Switch, by the way. So if you got past before it got before it got used, good job. Good for you. Alright, now, let's um, get digging underground. Magneton is electric slash steel type, by the way. Electric terrain? The fuck does that move do? Oh well. Ew! What? Ah, it's fucking sturdy. Damn. Let me check out this move. Electric Terrain is a non-damaging electric type move that reduces engine 6. It creates a terrain that envelops the field and replaces the battleground environment and any other terrain that is already in effect. Terrain has the following effects on Pokemon that are on the ground and not similarly invincible turn on the move. It boosts the power of electric type moves by 50%. It prevents Pokemon from being afflicted by sleep and yawn. Nature power becomes Thunderbolt. Super Secret power be it has the animation of Thundershock and may cause paralysis. Camouflage causes the user to become electric type. And natural objects disappear and cannot be destroyed by it while electric terrain is in effect. Wow, that is cool. But such a cool ability, too. I already know you're going to heal. Yeah, because I was prepared for that, Clement. Sorry, viewers. I just needed to get go over that move. Because I, I, if memory serves, I don't recall him using that. Ugh. When I did my gym battle against Clement in my test run, so this is actually my first time seeing it. It whip it now! Not being in the anime. That being said, though. Bruh, come on! Okay, fuck this, Dragon Claw! Huh. You're tough, Clement, I'll give you that. Looks like your electric terrain bitch is out the way, so. One more dig should clean that clock. Or magnet in this case. Alright. Yeah, more Marishasa. Ah! Way too bright for me. Way too early in the morning for it. Dig! Dig him. Again? Huh. Well, you already know you're going down then. I don't know. How, to... How did he. Ah! was surprisingly annoying. Huh. All right, now here comes his ace, Heloisk. And I'm going to fight Electric with Electric this time. So, good job, Aron. Now, Bilster, let's go! All right, now. Heloisk. Heloisk is Electric slash normal type, which is a very odd combination, but whatever. However, it's also weak to fighting type moves as well with that extra arm um, type. So, now is my time to show off Alpharaz's Mega Evolution powers. I hope you're set. Better be. Alpharaz, Bilster, Mega Shika! Mega Alpharaz has entered the building. Now, let's go. Uh Ow! <laughs> the Quidditch dude that tickles. Bulldoze! Now, with Alphara's Mega Evolved, it becomes Electric Slash Dragon type. So it has even more resistance to electricity than it already had. So, there you go. 
Is that it? Power of punch! It's too bad you have an additional weakness, because now I have many ways to get around you now. <laughs> You're done. Power up. Punch! There you go. Bye bye! <laughs> Clement? That's good game. Your passion for battle inspires me. Huh. It inspires me to lose some more. No, no. My brother? You lost? Oh, Bonnie, when will you learn there's no shame in losing? I epically failed. No, no, no. I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new thanks to s strong challengers like this boy here. Huh. Now to the victor goes the spoils. This Voltic badge belongs to you. I'll take it. All right, Voltic, Voltic badge, get to those A's. Badge number five and Kalos get. If you have a Voltic badge, you'll, you'll be seen as a, a friend and equal by any Pokemon up to level 70. And here, take this TM as well. Oh, I know, I know this one. It's TM24, that's Thunderbolt. It has power of 90% and its accuracy is 100%. It'll never miss. It's a really popular electric type move because of that. Yeah, as his Pikachu uses like spams it a lot. No wonder it's so popular. In the case, all right, we get Thunderbolt. I love that move. It seems they reduced the power a bit because Thunderbolt was 95 power back in the day. I wonder why they re reduced it. Uh, Bonnie, you bitch. <clears throat> the future is now, thanks to science. We hold the machine that gives technical machines. I just wanted to be able to say it, okay? At least once, but you had to fucking ruin it! Ugh. I mean, <clears throat> look, I'm not, I'm not like just trying to make myself stronger or, uh, All I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to the fullest with my Pokemon, while doing the signs that I love with my inventing. Good, that's good for you, buddy. <laughs> wow. You're a pretty amazing Pokemon trainer, huh? Keep whipping my bro into shape. He needs it. <laughs> I'll be sure to do that. <laughs> See you too. Wow. Clement and Bonnie win a pair. Probably my favorite gym battle out of all the ones we've had so far. Whew. Oh yeah, I forgot to see what this guy says. For beating the gym leader the way you did, we're going ahead and carved your name into those mysterious looking statues. How do you carve people's names into these? Huh. Oh wait, Serena's not here? I thought she was collecting the gym badges. Either that or she's just slow. Wow, so she not only fails at Mega Evolution, she fails at battling gym leaders. Mm. Well, there you go. In any case. Huh? Hello? Ah, Professor! Hello there. I wanted to talk to you a little bit. Could you come up? Could you come to Lysander Cafe? Lysander Cafe? Do you know where it is? You can see it outside the Pokemon Center right by Prism Tower. It's the Rat Cafe. Just hop in a taxi if you can't find it. Be seeing you soon. Lysander has a cafe too? How many cafes are in this damn town? Wow, man. I don't get that. Like, there's just way too many damn cafes. <laughs> well, this, is, this isn't the way to his cafe, but there is a place I want to check out real quick. Now, that's the Luminos Press. In the Luminos Press, you can find um, Viola's sister, um, Alexa, I think her name was. She offers to take you to... Sorry about that, viewers. Siri was being a bitch. Otherwise than that, though... Okay, that's not the place I wanted to look for. There's a place that sells Mega Stones. But for the life of me, I don't know where the fuck it is. I'll, I'll try and find it later, I guess. It's not really that big a... The hell? Oh, guy scared the shit out of me. Alright, where's that cafe at? Let's see... I, it, mu it must be behind the Team Flare chick. Let's see... Huh, and what you know it? The Red Cafe. Ah, there they are. Over here. 
How's it going? Nice to see you again, Mr. Weird Hair. <laughs> I was just having a conversation with Lysander about Mega Evolution. I would like to congratulate you as well. Mega Evolution is something I too would like to be able to use. Actually, Lysander himself is of royal ancestry. He truly is a chosen one. Okay, so he's a prince or something? True, I'm a descendant of the king's younger brother. That being said, that story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. By the way, Mike, do you know where the Holocaster is made? Yeah, Lysander Labs? That's right. They're made in Lysander's lab. Lysander is a great man. He supports trainers in Pokemon research with some of the profit from the Holocaster. People can be divided into two groups, those who give and those who take. It's just how the Le Colossus region's two legendary Pokemon gave life and took life. I want to be that kind of person who gives. But in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what it isn't theirs. They're filth! Oh, oh shit. Long, long ago, the King of Kalos sought to take everything for his own. And he created a terrible weapon. Then the fire of destruction was unleashed. That is the legend that has been passed down. Kalos is beautiful right now. There will be no foolish actions if the number of people and Pokemon do not increase. That being said, the future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the one before. What the King of Kalos did was reprehensible, but the ultimate weapon did manage to wash the world clean of, of that era's filth. So you justify that? You justify the killing of people? Because it, 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 it cleansed the world? Uh, in any case, we get a King's Rock, ironically enough. Huh. Thank you for listening. Take that as an apology for me taking up your time. What a weirdo. I don't understand this man. What a passionate person. He's just like a blazing flame. It's just like the hair. Perhaps his pride is in his lineage is what makes him burn so intensely. That being said, what Lysander says is the only is only one way of looking at things. It's not necessarily the truth. Mike, what's truly important is the time you spend together with others. Treasure these moments spent traveling the Kalos region with your Pokemon. I'll be sure to do that, thanks. Wow. Uh, what now? Hmm? Oh, Trevor! Hello, how have you been? I just wanted to let you know we're all going to meet up on Route 14. Please come and join us. Do I have a choice? No! <laughs> yeah, you don't really have a choice. Oh well. But, yeah, I don't, I really don't understand what Lysander is going on about. The guy is just weird. Like, I, I, I don't get him. Like, what is he truly after? That's, that's what I want to know. Otherwise, the Nat, though, this is the Pokeball Boutique. All right, perfect. This is one of the shops I wanted to show off. In case. Hey there, how's it going? Do you sell Master Balls? Let's see. No, uh, of course they don't. <laughs> but in any case, she sells all different kinds of Pokeballs here. This is the only place in the game where you can buy luxury balls and premier balls when I having to buy a stack of Pokeballs from a shop or anything like that. So you can buy them individually there. I'll be sure to purchase them off screen. But, well, there you go. Alright, in any case... Uh, where the hell am I? Luminous City is just way too big for me. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> or shade, depending on your preference, but... Case. I'm looking for the cafe that sells the, um, what place is that? What route does this lead to? Oh, okay, that leads to the route that we just came from. Okay. In any case, there's a couple places that I want to check out before we end the episode. One is the Luminos Museum. The other is, um, the place that sells deals, um, you know, those, those mega stones. I don't, for the life of me, I don't know where the place that sells mega stones is. It's in one of these shops, but for the life of me, I don't know where the fuck it is. 
Okay, this is the cafe I was at earlier. What the hell is through here? Who the hell? Hey, dude. Okay, yeah. What? Okay, I wasn't expecting a battle here. Huh? Well, if you want to lose, <laughs> by all means. All right, let's see what you got then. Huh, I guess I'm not going first. Uh, oh well, whatever. Not that I needed to go first. <laughs> no players! Can I get my attack in? Thank you! Yeah! Moon Prism Power, bitch! <laughs> See ya! Woo, Gaiden levels like mad today. Huh. You seem like a delightful person. Those eyes. When I battle, I look to imagine that, that I'm in the scene of a movie. Do come by my coaster again. Okay. Huh. Interesting fellow. <laughs> like, seriously, he's just in a dead end in, in, a, in an alley. Looking for trouble, I might add. Hmm, whatever. I'll be right back, viewers. All right, viewers are back. We are back in front of the Prism Tower. Now, viewers, I finally was able to find where the, um, you know, the Mega Stones um, shop is. Basically, from where you go to the Prism Tower, from that section where the, um, you know, where the Diggers Bee is. Come all the way down here to this shop here, and there's a stone in front of it. That's the place where you want to go to to get it. Ugh, my god. In any case, Sea Cells Evolution Stones, those aren't the ones I'm looking for. Oh, I'm famous here? Blast tonight? Are you serious? Well, I got the money, so... <laughs> if you happen to, like, do, like, fight in a lot of these cafes or something like that, you can raise your, like, fame or something like here, like that here in Luminos, and you can reduce the price of his stones. <laughs> so... He has, he has very pricey stones. <laughs> this is one of the special power stones that I squeeze and jiggle and warm in my own hands. Uh, uh, wait a minute! You see, here I was trying to avoid making a sexual pun about balls, and then he basically goes and says it up front. While, like, yeah, yeah, subtext, subtext. I see what you're trying to do, game. Yeah, I squeeze and jiggle my stones in my warm hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I bet it makes them even more powerful, don't you think? <laughs> no, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Wow, man. Well, he's obsessed with stones. I'll give him that much. Case, okay, so was there someone else that gives you more stones? Hmm, guess not. But yeah, that's the guy, that's the shop I was looking for earlier in the game, but could never fucking find it. But now I know where it is now. So yeah, right in front of Professor Sycamore's lab. Wow. In fact, I wonder if we were even able to get it prior anyway. Huh. Yeah, because pretty much half of Luminos was blocked off when we first came here earlier in the game. Well, there you go. Now, another place I want to show off real quick before we end the episode. Alright, this spot here leads to the Luminos station, the train station and stuff like that. It can travel to some other different places in Luminos, or rather outside of Luminos. You remember, remember in Gen 5, you could take the train in Nebraska City to get to Anvil Town? Yeah, just like that, but the trains aren't running here at the moment. That leads to Route 16. But if you try to go through there now, you'll be cock-blocked by a couple assholes. So, I wouldn't bother. So, yeah. Don't bother. <laughs> yeah, they're busy chatting about some shit or whatever, and, and they just will not let your ass through. This is the Luminos Museum. The reason I even want to come in here... Uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
Let me guess, I gotta pay, don't I? Oh. Yeah, of course so. Alright, thank you, thank you. I really don't care about the audio guide and stuff like that. I just want to get the prize that we can get in here. Alright, now, let's see. Or rather, if you're if you're stylish enough, you're luminous, the price is free, but I'm not stylish yet. This allows you to check the box to see. There's a ace trainer on the first floor here that we need to talk to. Is this him? Hmm, you. I can smell that you're not from here. I mean, from Kalos. Have you recently moved here? Alright, take this. Haha! -ha, TM82 Dragon Tail! Nice. Dragon Tail knocks the target away while doing damage to do it. My partner learned the move in the Village of Dragons, so feel free to use it. The Village of Dra- Oh yeah! Opelucid City! And Unova! Yeah, I remember. So does that mean that our character is from- is from... Unova... originally? Hmm. Interesting. I- I don't think they ever really, like, mentioned that. It's like the way he was talking, it makes it sound like- like we might have come from Unova. Seeing as Brendan and May came from Johto originally, and, um, you know, when they first moved to, um, you know, when they first moved to, um, Hoenn in the games. So, yeah, pretty much. Route 14! Hello, bro! Hey there! Oh, Serena's here too, yay. You arrived very quickly, even though you took half an hour. <laughs> no, no. Oh, hi, bro. Hi, Lu uh, 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 Serena. We were just comparing how to complete our Pokedexes. I won, of course, or how complete our Pokedexes are. Whatever you said. I'll leave filling up the, po the Pokedex to you guys, Trevor. I don't like it when everyone does the same thing anyway. Ha! You say that, and yet you're right here next to him. If we don't like doing everything the way everyone else is doing, why are you constantly like grouped up with everyone else why aren't you traveling on your own I mean hello you make no sense bro let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen just like we always do this time let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen in the Mountain Kalos Pokedex put it another way I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle with brains so you've seen 11 kinds of Pokemon I lost how frustrating. So, you seen Gibble too, bro? Yeah, I have one. Well, it's a Gibbite now. Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can, can sure make you happy. There sure are many different kinds of Pokemon in Kalos. Now it's my turn. Are you literally challenging me to a battle? Uh, okay. Heh, <laughs> you're lost. Or rather, your funeral. Whatever. You're lost and your funeral. Because it's time for a boss fight. Serena! But like I said in our last fight with her, I'm not calling her rival battle or rival Serena because she's not our rival. She's just a random trainer battle at this point. She's pathetic. So, yeah. She just might... She is the biggest pet peeve of mine in this game so far. Moon Blast! Huh. Moon Prism Power! Viewers, viewers, you just saw me out sick, right? It, it, it rolled its eyes at me just now. Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> oh, you're so going down for that. Ow, quit it. Bite you, bitch. There you go. Roll your eyes at that bitch. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Yay, more level ups. Damn. Nice. Oh, uh, look at this. It, it's her loser starter. Wow. How shocking. All right, let's go, Kai. Let's see, press not. Whoa, it's a big dude. But of course, it, it really doesn't matter either way. Because the viewers, you want to know why? Well, get this. Oh, uh, let, me, let me check this out. Her starter still has two moves! Two! Seed Bomb and Bite! Get out of here! Get out! Flame Burst! 
This grandson is fighting type now. He doesn't even have one fighting move. Why are you even fighting me at all? Just pathetic. Get out of here. Ew. Damn, Kai. <laughs> Went harsh on that bitch. <laughs> Last resort. Uh, it's a move that only works when you have nothing else to use. I don't really use it, so Th that's why you need ethers. <laughs> In the case, all right, Fenton, level up. Cool. All right, Absol. You know what? I might as well stick with Kai. Now, Serena, I'm going to keep trolling you for the rest of the game with this. So, Mega Evolution, Power Punch. Kai, Mega Shinka! I didn't have to go this far, but you're asking for it, um, um, Serena. Yeah, Power Up Punch! There you go. Feel it, bitch! Ow. Huh. Your scratches don't even itch. Get out of here. Flame burst! Bye bye. Huh. You lose again, Serena! Your losing streak continues. Yeah, you're getting tired of losing every time. How about you train your Pokemon? Get this. Her Meowstic and her Absol both have four moves. Yeah, her starter only has two. You're pathetic. Wow, that was a really intense battle. <laughs> intense to you, maybe. Oh, hi, Shauna. When did you start watching? Where's Turney? He's at the fighting dojo. Really, the fighting dojo? Sorry I'm late, everybody. Where is the do that dojo, anyway? I was having so much fun with my st sparring dance, I totally lost track of time. So, Turno, have you found any good Pokemon for your dance team? Yeah, I sure did. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. That's great. Good for you. Hey, everybody, let's go to the scary house. The one that's near... The one by Lavar City, right? That's just a rumor, isn't it? Come on, let's all go find out if the rumor's true. Uh, I think I'll pass. I'm sure it's just a rumor, and I want to spend some more time with my Pokemon before heading to Lavar City. Uh, okay, bye-bye. Bitch. <laughs> so, is it really that scary? Let's go and see for ourselves, Torino. There's always some reason rumors like that get started. Huh. <laughs> Wait, Torino ran. Huh. Why are you traveling, Mike? Huh? What a weird question to ask me at this point in the game. Everyone is working really hard at, at what they want to do. But I'm just all about memories. I'm kind of just goofing around. Yeah, why are you traveling? That I should be asking you that. Just kidding. Uh, I don't get them at all. They are some really weird kids. But in case, viewers, we're on Route 14. The next gym town is obviously in Lavar City. But let's go check out this supposed scary house next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids from me. Hit that bell to notify whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes and dudes. Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, bros and brosettes. Smile you later, bitches.